This is the enchanted forest, albeit a plantation. But for a child, looking into the horizon, you know, six, seven miles away from the concrete jungle where he lived, this was an enchanted forest. And this is the, the Guru Hill of mine as a child, you know, when I used to look up Lincoln Avenue from Scotston Hill and see this at the end of the at the end of the road, way back there in top of the horizon. And it was only about thirty years later I eventually got to it. Carnedon's Wood. Not too far from Mulgai. And we're up here, it's the last day, or thirtieth of March. The sun came out this morning. And it's quiet, and this lockdown for the coronavirus is, is becoming more stringent, let's say. I've passed already two police cars, you know, waiting in laybys for, well, those are non-essential trips. And I was just waiting for them to pull me over. But, you know, one of the excuses is exercise, so when you're on a bicycle, you know, you're okay. But there are a few cars flitting to and fro. Oh no, this little guy. They do like to cut it close, you know. One of these days. And this is the other Guru Hill. I think Sri Ramana, the Indian sage, called his Guru Hill. As a child, his hill was um, Arankula or something like that. And of course the other fiery beacon was Tinto that you would see way across the other side of the valley. And it took me about 40 years before I got up there. <laughs> but, you know, better late than never. But of course there are Guru Hills all over Glasgow. I mean, take this one on the horizon, right at the back, Neilston Pad. with its little conifer mohawk and then various other hills along that horizon the Glenifer Braes, Walls Hill Fort, all the hills up behind Johnston and Howwood and then of course the hills behind Neilston, Newton Mearns, Eaglesham they're spoiled for choice, there's so many gurus and yet so few wise people within the Glasgow Strath which is the great tragedy, is it not? Those who have steam have no demons. <laughs> 